Hey antique lovers, this is Cindy with Firehouse Antiques. Do you want to know how we find all this amazing stuff? We pick, yes, P-I-C-K. We're going to show you how we use our over 25 years of experience to find amazing stuff. Picking, it's called. So, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel and stay tuned to the end of the video because we're going to take you along with us to one of our favorite places to pick. Picking is an addiction that you may not ever recover from. It's that much fun. But don't worry, if you don't like digging through barns and climbing and going through centuries of old dust, we'll teach you that there's other places to pick like flea markets, garage sales, estate sales, where everything's already cleaned up for you. Picking is an important skill because it usually offers the largest profit margin if you do it right. It cuts out the middleman. It's just you with your research and knowledge and the seller doing a dance to figure out the right price. Picking is the excitement of the hunt. It's the search and discovery and the euphoria when you spot an item in the pile. An antique dealer's best kept secret is where to pick. And we're gonna teach you how to find those places in this series. It's about finding those secret spots you never knew about until now. Orinoco, Minnesota, we just returned from there. It's a great place to pick in the summer. Over a thousand dealers descend upon this small town and set up everything from furniture, Americana, quilts, succulents, <laughs> signs, advertising, uh, urns, everything that we love was in Orinoco, Minnesota. Anyone can be a picker. It can be a hobby or a profession, depending on how much time you want to give to it. It's about learning what sells in your area or online. It's about what you can find and learning about it. So now that you've decided you want to do this business, let's break down picking. There's two types of picks, a scheduled pick and freestyle. A scheduled pick is when you receive a phone call from a family member that they want to sell their items or their loved one's items and you go to their home or place of business to buy. A, a freestyle is when you are on a trip and you see maybe a for sale sign in the yard or you see that there's items sitting outside for sale and you stop to see if they have items to sell more than what they're showing. With a scheduled pick, we receive phone calls from people who wanna sell things. Since we've been here for over 15 years and in this business for 25, they know what our business is and that we buy. And we pretty much go to every single one of them because you never know what you're gonna see or find. We usually have them send us pictures either by text or email, and this will alleviate any wasted time. But another tip is, is don't think that just because they didn't send you a picture that there's not other stuff. One way you can create your own scheduled pick, since maybe you're not a business yet, is look at Facebook Marketplace. There are so many things for sale on there, and one thing leads to another. They may think they just have one thing for sale, and you'll realize that they have so many more things that they didn't list or take a photo of. A freestyle pick is when, for instance, when we're traveling, we will, if we see something in the yard that's for sale, then we think, well, they may have other things for sale. So we will stop, especially if it's a multi-generational farm and you can tell it. We stop, get out of our van with our flyer, and on the back, it lists everything that we buy. So we give this to them and we ask them, do they have anything else to sell? One of the hardest things to do is approach someone on a freestyle pick. I mean, it's intimidating. These people don't know who we are. The fact that we have firehouse antiques on the side of our van helps a little, but how do you start the conversation? Well, I will say my husband Jeff is very good at it and he can talk to anybody. So he just introduces himself, we hand him the flyer, and we let him know what we're there for. And then the conversation just kind of keeps rolling. 
And sometimes things don't work out. The person's not open. They don't have anything to sell and they're, or they're busy. So don't worry. If you can't find something on that pick, just try to keep an open mind because there's always another pick. Here's a clip of where we were picking a farm and the owner was actually very nice and said we could look around. But we only found two things. But the two things we found we loved and it also helped us gain confidence for our next pick because later that day we got to go to an Amish farm and we'll show you that pick too. A lot of fun and we found some amazing things. So this guy, um, this farmer actually let us stop and he's letting us walk around and look and see if we see anything. So he's got some scrap piles uh, as you can see behind me, but it would be pretty tough to dig out some of that stuff, but we're looking. We're looking. Now we're gonna go check out the barn. That's all you can do is stop and look, ask. People are really nice. So nice. Those big wood doors there, man. That's where all that stuff is out there. Got it closed up. Yeah. So later that day, we got to go to two Amish farms. This was the third day on the way to Orinoco. We're gonna show you a clip here that me walking through that barn and that Amish pick. We had so much fun and the pictures are amazing. Check them out. My only regret is that I didn't buy the whole stack of Clinton signs because I got home, posted Town of Clinton, and everybody wanted one. Another one of our favorite places to pick, and it happens every third Sunday, is Bloomington Third Sunday Market in Bloomington, Illinois. They set up on Saturday and they actually let you pay extra to come in and to pick while they set up. Another thing that we just learned is that usually if there's a farm and machinery show, there's usually a flea market before it. There's also the same with um, car shows. There's always a flea market before it. So check these out and go to them. Don't just rely and think it's just a car show or a machinery show. Check it out and see if there's a flea market that precedes it. I mentioned in a couple of my previous videos that estatesales.net and estatesale.com and even estatesales.org are all three places that you can find estate sales coming up and auctions. You can actually join their email list and they will email you when they have one in your area. You will invest your time and your money in this business. Whether you are doing this for a side income or a full-time job, this business takes time to educate yourself and the capital to buy your items. Your profit is your fee for a job well done. It is preservation. Pickers are recycling items. They sell these items to repurpose them. You are selling a product that is trash to someone and to another one, it's treasure. You're also recycling yesterday's treasures. It's an investment. Don't get caught up in the moment. Stop and think, can I make a profit on this item? I have friends that go to yard sales and flea markets searching for jewelry, hoping to find gold and silver. They have turned the weekend searching into a full-time job. So find what your love and your passion is and turn it into a business. Bottom line, in order to pick, you have to know your stuff. Educate yourself on what interests you and know how much you're willing to pay. Study the market. Look online at eBay. Check what's trending on Etsy in the vintage section. If you buy what you love, you will enjoy searching for it and learning about it. Our desire is to help you learn the ins and outs of picking. We'll continue to add more videos to our series so you can learn how to make a profit buying and selling vintage and antique items. Be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you soon, antique lovers. First day of Orinoco. We'll show you what actually it looks like.
the year of the tail fin. So we're getting loaded, not gonna be able to see anything, but I, I thought you had to see the color of paint on this beauty right here. Okay, it's very a glamorous life, and it's even more glamorous if you are a dealer set up. So always have a heart for those dealers who are set up in rain and sleet and snow. Well, maybe not snow, but mostly summer shows. But check out what we got here. Let me see if I can show you in the screen. We've got 11 of those architectural pieces and a lots of great stuff inside. So as you can tell, we're a little, uh, Looks a little bit different than it did a couple days ago. So here we are. We are full. Whew! Great trip. Thanks, Orinoco. Signing out.